All right, everyone, welcome to the tutorial on creating the templated out website. The first thing that we need to do is create a couple of folders so that we can actually set up our site. So here on my desktop, I'm simply going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it site. Inside this folder, I'm going to create two more folders. The first one's going to be images. And we're not going to put anything in these folders, but eventually you'll fill them up. The other one I want to do is underscore work. And the reason I put the underscore is so that it becomes first alphabetically. So this is the folder that I want to turn to my site. Now I need to go into Dreamweaver and click site, new site. And I'm already under my advanced tab. I'm going to call this my band site. I'm going to use the format for that. Now I'm going to browse for this. And it's here on my desktop. Here's my site folder. I'm going to click Open, and then click Select, and then click OK, and I should see everything here in my Files panel. Good. Looks like stuff is working. Now we do the template part. We have to start with a new blank template. So let's do File, New, and in this window I'm going to create, uh, click on Blank Template, and choose a blank HTML template. Now you have a bunch of these layouts that are already designed for you. But they're not that great, uh, mostly because they're all using CSS, and you guys are used to the table-based design so far. So don't worry about any of these. Just leave the layout set to none, HTML template, click Create. Now what I'm going to do is drop in a um, very, very basic design on this page. And because my resolution is set so low to keep this file size small, um, I only have about 400, 500 pixels to work with here, so I'm going to create a really, really, really small design. You're going to want to create something a little bit larger. But here I'm going to go ahead and drop in a table. I'm going to make it four rows, one column, and I'll make it about 400 pixels wide. For you guys, if you're working at a full resolution monitor, I would say somewhere in the neighborhood of seven to 800 pixels wide is a pretty good width. That's all I need for that. Make sure everything else is set to zero because this is a layout table. We don't want any padding or anything like that. And click OK. Good. Now I've got my design. I'll let's spice this up just a little bit and I'll set my alignment to center on this table so it's in the middle of my page. You can certainly do a left hand or a left sided uh, design if you would like. In, I'm going to put my navigation in this row. And then I'm going to put my content, if I can spell content, I'm going to put my content there. My first row is going to be my header, banner, graphic. My bottom one is going to be some footer information, my email and things like that. In order to uh, work with templates, before we save this, you want to create a uh, an editable region. And these are the areas of your document that you can edit on the pages that are linked to this template. So I'm going to highlight my word content here and to insert an editable region it's under the insert menu option, template objects, and then editable region. You also see it's control alt v. That's if you're uh, into the keyboard shortcuts. Every time you drop in an editable region you have to name it. I'm going to call this one content. And there we go. My template is well, it exists. It's not perfect, and obviously there's very little design to it. But you can come back in and uh, add whatever you would like to this, and we're going to have to add the navigation here in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and save this, and that's just a regular Control-S. Because I started this out as a new blank template file, all I have to do is Control-S, and it's going to save it as a template. If you start out your template as an HTML file, then you have to do File, Save as Template. But in this instance, we don't. I'm just going to call this band template. I'm not going to worry about a description because that only really shows up in the assets panel. And I tend not to use that one very much. So description, you can kind of throw that out. Click save. And now I should have a templates folder with band underscore template dot DWT. Good. Now I can close this page. Oh, one more thing. Almost. Let's not close it out just yet. Let's do a title. My title is going to be space dash, space, and then my band name. And I'll show you why that's going to become important in a second. 